Hi, and welcome to Battleground Lanka. We're excited to take you on this journey and get you started with the game. Lanka is a team-based game, which means you play as individuals but win as a team by defeating all other opponents. There are three types of cards in the box. Character cards, action cards, and health trackers. Let's jump in. There are three teams and every character belongs to one of them. There's Team Orange, Team Purple, and Team Neutral. You can think of this as the solo double agent. There are 76 action cards across six categories. Red attack cards, blue defense cards, green health cards, yellow luck cards, black power cards, and gray stealth cards. At the start of the game, each player picks one character, thus joining a team. Players sitting next to each other cannot be on the same team. By the way, every character has a unique superpower which may help while attacking, defending, or general gameplay. Action cards are shuffled and five cards are distributed to each player face down. On every turn, a player draws two cards. They can now play as many cards as they wish. One by one, cards are played by placing them in the discard pile. Note that a player can only play one attack card per turn. Attack cards have two properties, a weapon shown on the top right corner and a damage value listed in the description. When a player is attacked, they can try to defend themselves using a defense card. Defense cards indicate which weapon or weapons they are effective against. If a player is unable to defend an attack, they must take the damage and reduce their health. During their turn, a player can play a health card to restore health for themselves or others. Certain health cards can also resurrect a player at the moment they reach zero health. When a player reaches zero health and cannot be resurrected, they are considered eliminated. They must flip their character card to indicate this and hand over any in-hand cards to the attacker. There are also stealth and luck cards. Use them strategically to weaken your opponents and gain the upper hand. Lastly, let's talk about power cards. A player plays these cards by placing them in front of themselves or other players. During the game, a power card placed in front of a player comes into effect before any character superpowers or other action cards. At the end of a player's turn, the player must only hold a maximum of five cards and must discard any extra or unneeded cards. There are more details in the instruction booklet. For example, when playing with five or more players, you may choose Chaos Mode for a much faster gameplay. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Are you ready for the battle to begin?